So I'm very new to Windows development. Uh, I'm new to Windows Phone app development uh, and Windows Microsoft Visual Studio. Uh, I just wanted to create a very quick app and try it on my Lumia device. So I went to File, New Project, App, and it generated uh, what you see now in front of you, this code. Uh, I wanted to try it on my physical device. So I went up here and picked device. Uh, I made sure that my phone, which is connected but you can't see, my phone wasn't on the lock screen. Um, I press play and I get this error which says you need to develop it unlock the, unlock the device. Now I've not done this yet. Um, but I'm trying to film and document my uh, my experiences with Windows phone development. Um, and I think all you have to do is go to Tools, Windows Phone 8.1, Developer Unlock. Uh, and now, so I've never seen this before. But I did a quick Google, and this is what it says to do. Uh, so my phone is plugged in. I've gone to Tools, Developer Unlock. I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio Professional 2013 because I'm a student, and professional versions free, but it should be the same for the community version so click register let's see what happens I've unlocked the screen uh, on my, on my Lumia so it wants me to sign in I guess this is with my Microsoft account let's have a go uh, let's just double check I am recording yeah <laughs> sign in uh, no, that's wrong. This is what you get for having a very large password of random. Uh, let's try again. You know, they say you can have a 16 character password, so I will make sure I have all 16. Um, so now I've uh, put in my Windows ID. It's detecting the Windows device connected to the computer. Come on, do something. Uh, and it's not worked. So I'm going to try plugging. Let's try again. Right, so make sure this doesn't work. I have to make sure that Windows Phone IP over USB is working. Awesome. So apparently that error message is quite common. I, uh, as you can see now, if you look here, it says the device is unlocked, and I can un unlock it, unregister it. Um, so my problem was that I didn't have internet access on my mobile phone enabled. So you need internet access on your laptop and on your mobile phone. Uh, if that doesn't fix it for you, apparently the other thing you can do is look for services. Look for Windows Phone IP or USB transport and right click it and restart. But for me, the problem was simply uh, that internet access on my phone wasn't on you have so that was that's quite important it doesn't say that uh, anywhere on here uh, so that's it I've registered my phone